Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the review of the Boras P1720 gaming CPU cooler from Gamdas. Right then, in terms of the thermals and in terms of my benchmarking, now I've done two separate tests and the first test is with just PBO enabled with the 5900X. I'll make sure I put the system specs up here on the beginning of the video. Now, for Cinebench R23, the idles are 34 Celsius, the max is 68 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 Celsius and the max was 68 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles are 35 Celsius and the max is a 68. And then 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 35 and 72 Celsius for the max. Now remember, the idles are going to creep up because of the amount of heat it's drawing. The K starts to heat up as well. So this time, what I did this time was unlocked it. I unlocked the majority of the settings to get it to pump up the the voltage as well as the frequency and the CPU. Now remember this is a lot of test this is this lot of testing is just to push the air cooler. It's not representative of what uh like a new Intel CPU that like draws 250 watts. It's not representative of that. This is just to show you guys what this thing is capable of with very high voltages and high clock speeds. So for Cinebench R23 the idle is 35 Celsius and the max hit 90 Celsius. Now, the thermal limit on the 1500X is 90 Celsius and it was all red. So yeah, both CCDs were red. They were both between 89 and 90 Celsius and yeah, so Blender Classroom, the idle is 36, so the idle started creeping up due to the amount of heat. The max it hit 90 Celsius once again. Blender BMW, it stayed the idles at 36 and it hit a max of 90 again. Now, this is drawing 198 watts at 1.3 volts. 
It's a lot of voltage on this CPU, and I never recommend doing it with any CPU. Now, 3D Mark CPU test. The idle is a 36 max. Uh, the 36 at idle and the max was a 79. Now remember that these tests are just to push the air cooler. Now let's get to the noise test. Now we're going to do a noise test and we are going to see how loud it gets. Now what I'm going to do is this is our 25%. It barely, you can barely hear it. I can just about hear it. Now this is 100%. So yeah, it hits 1700, well actually 1781, it's not exactly 1800 RPM, but as you can hear it sounds like a jet turbine just about a go. So that's the testing. Okay, and what do I think of this cooler? Right, now, this, remember now, everything I say is just my personal opinion, it does not reflect on any of you. If you guys want a very good, sleek, blacked out CPU cooler, then, of course, this does look very striking in any build. Sorry about the multicolored case, but I'm going to mod this case. That's why it's multicolored. Now, it's a very nice looking air cooler. I do like the tower design. It's very similar to what Thermorite do. Uh, the 70 pipes, so it can... They are claiming 270 watts, but remember, the testing I do... The first test in is normal out of the box 5900X and the next one in is just pushing it. It's just to push it to its gills to see what it's capable of. And yes, it's up there. Yeah, Pilots Assassin does do better. It does run a lot cooler, but there's only a 6 to 7 degree difference and that could be down to case and airflow. So, yes. Now, I'd like to thank them for sending it out. I do hope they will send me out an AIO next and maybe some of their fans but i have also been eyeing up their gaming chairs and their desks i would love to change my desk as well as my seating by here and it would look a bit better now yeah it's all right at the moment but i wouldn't mind but overall it's a good cooler i'm not a lover of the price gamdas i don't really like the price but that's just my personal opinion Take that with a grain of salt. So if you guys are looking for an air cooler that's just come out, that has forward compatibility, PWM, 4-pin PWM support, and it's very, very striking, but be careful. It's a big cooler, so you've got to be careful on clearance. This is de It definitely gets a thumbs up from me in terms of a recommendation. Not the price so much, but that's just my personal opinion. And... If you want to buy it, the link is down below. And I'd like to thank them again for sending it out. I want an AIO and fans next, please, because I seriously got some good build ideas for those. So, so don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and week. Goodbye.